A $215 million project that would create 450 new residential spaces downtown Lansing. That's how it's being touted tonight. The project would come in the form of two new buildings and the renovation of the historic Washington Square building. But as Nate Salazar found out, the funds for this project aren't confirmed quite yet. Nate? Shereen Siobhan, that's exactly right. City officials sound 100% convinced that it's a go, but there is a $40 million hurdle. City council members are just learning about the plans, and one says the whole thing is moving a bit too fast. The developer announced plans for New View Lansing, a $215 million affordable housing project that will, quote, transform the city. Gentilozzi Real Estate, in partnership with JFK Investments, is behind the idea. $40 million is expected to come from state appropriations. Lansing Mayor Andy Shore is confident they'll be approved. And, um, this is why they put the money in the budget. They gave it to us and certainly gave us the flexibility, but it's my intention to, to have the dollars go to this project because it's ready to go. It's ready to go, but is it the best way to use those funds? That question has been asked by Lansing City Council member Carol Wood, who tells us they are just now learning about these plans. We are lacking a lot of information at this particular point. In the last 24 hours, additional information has come forward that we weren't aware of before. Information that the city had the choice to conduct a bidding process for other developers to take part, but hasn't done so. There was the potential to do a bid process. This is new to council. We will be asking those questions. We will be asking the administration about a bid process. We'll be asking all of those questions. Our role, from a council perspective, is an up or down vote on the dollars. Council is still waiting for the resolution to come to them. Yeah, it'll be up to city council to make the decision if they want to, to move it or not. Now, it is important to note city council will be asked to approve the $40 million for this project, along with funding to restore Moore's Park Pool and build a new city hall, all of it state funding. The city council must accept all the money or none of it. Their next meeting is Monday. Back to you.